There's sensationalized stories and there's scary stories, but everyday stories are the ones that really matter. It's an amazing scientific accomplishment that we have COVID vaccines in such a short period of time. But just because we have the vaccines doesn't necessarily mean that our community is gonna be immediately protected. What we really need is for between 60 and 80% of the people in this country to get the COVID vaccines so that we can actually prevent outbreaks from spreading, particularly once we reopen to the rest of the world. We know that common concerns that people have about the COVID vaccines are vaccine safety or long-term effects, some people are worried that they're not effective enough. Um, there are also conspiracy theories that have been spread throughout the whole pandemic that are also affecting people's decisions and just general trust and lack of trust in the government or in the scientific establishment. Every conversation that you have or that anyone has with someone else about the COVID vaccines can actually make a really big difference in how people think and feel about the vaccines and also whether they go on to get them. And so that's why we're really interested in trying to empower everyone to be a vaccine champion. A vaccine champion is really anyone who can advocate for the vaccination program, talk about their experiences being vaccinated, maybe answer some people's questions about the vaccines. But you don't have to know all the answers to be a vaccine champion. You don't have to be a, a clinical expert. It's really just about normalizing vaccination and not being afraid to talk about it with people. We know that people trust people that they already have relationships with and that the information that they hear from those people is gonna be a lot more powerful in shaping their decisions and the way they think about the vaccines than information that they get from, you know, a government spokesperson or a website. So there's a few different things that anyone can do to be a vaccine champion. One of the simplest and most effective strategies that you can use to be a vaccine champion is just to tell your story. So if you've been vaccinated, you can tell people what it was like, how you made your booking, what the clinic was like. Be very transparent about any side effects that you experienced. We know people wanna hear about the side effects. You can share a photo of yourself getting your vaccine, but just maybe don't have the needle going straight into your arm in the photo that can put people off. If you haven't been vaccinated yet, maybe because you're not eligible, you can still tell your story about how you decided to become vaccinated when you are able to. So you could talk about where you found information that you thought was helpful or, um, you know, what's motivating you. What do you hope you're going to be able to do once you've been vaccinated? The key is really just to normalize vaccination so that everyone realizes that they know someone who has been vaccinated or is going to be vaccinated, and it's not that scary. Another thing you can do is help people find answers to their questions. And remember, you don't have to know the answers yourself off the top of your head. You just kind of have to know where to look and how to tell whether information is up to date and, and good quality. So one thing you can do maybe is sit down with someone and help them find the answers to their questions on a particular website or something like that. Or you can make yourself available to people and they know that if they ask you a question, you'll go away, you'll do the research, and then you'll come back and share what you've learned with them. Another thing you can do is help people figure out if they're actually eligible to get the vaccine. And if they are, you can help them find a clinic where they can get it or even help them make a booking. One of the biggest challenges with this whole pandemic has really been the spread of conspiracy theories and misinformation. It's tempting to try and correct misinformation or rebut myths, but you don't necessarily have to jump in every time you hear a myth. Sometimes by trying to correct it, you actually just fan the flames and give it more oxygen. But if you see a myth that's really starting to spread or it's starting to affect people's behavior, that might be a time when you wanna step in and address it. And one of the strategies that you can use is to apply the truth sandwich, which means you come in, you state the truth really clearly, then you briefly explain why the myth is untrue, and then you finish with the truth again, because what people are gonna remember is what you say more than once and what you say first 
and last. Another challenge is figuring out how to deal with people, individual people who are spreading this information. Um, and the first thing to do is to try and speak to them in private. So it's not very helpful to engage in a public debate with someone, either online or, or in the real world. And also just to remember that you can't necessarily change everyone's minds. All you can really do is share your personal experiences and the information that you've learned and leave that door open for future conversations. You don't have to convince everyone to vaccinate, but even if you can encourage one person to get the vaccine, it's a step in the right direction.